never something that you start doing as a kid and think, this is gonna be my career, I'm gonna be a pro, I'm gonna be sponsored, I'm gonna make money. If that's your reason for riding BMX, you're in for a big old fat surprise. It's not a rock star lifestyle like some people may think. There's not a lot of people in BMX that make a ton of money doing it. So a huge chunk of why you continue to do it has to be because you love doing it. I went to the Texas State Fair with my family in maybe early 90s. Matt Hoffman was there with a stunt team they called the Sprocket Jockeys. It took me a few years before I kind of figured out that I wanted to get into that more and I got, actually got a freestyle bike, started trying tricks, and I started off riding just flat ground in front of my house. And then we have got a skate park in Tyler, Texas. I would get my mom to take me out there and I'd finish my schoolwork, and as soon as I was done, I would be out in the park riding. I was the right place at the right time, and there was like a demo going on in Dallas, and I was up there, I knew some of the guys that were involved with it, and then the guy that owned Mutiny Bikes uh, saw me ride that, and that was my first bike sponsor. Through that, I started being able to go on road trips with them, and they would film and put out videos, and then you go to this event, and there's camera guys there for magazines, you get photos in magazines, and then all of a sudden, other people want to sponsor you, and it just like, it's like a snowball effect from there. I went to a contest, came home with $11,000. So for me, it was a no-brainer. I was like, well, I'm gonna keep riding my bicycle and see what, how far I can take this. Sometimes I do feel like I'm working. I do love what I do, but sometimes I don't want to go to, I don't wanna go do shows, like, but I have to, because that's what's paying the bills and, and how, how it works. But I'm still here kicking because I do, I do what I need to do and, and I do love it. Morgan and I met at a BMX contest in Vancouver, Canada, um, but I was actually one of the competitors in the female class, um, and Morgan was one of the judges for the female class. eventually made my way to Texas. It was a great move now that I look back on it, but it was kind of a culture shock. Texas is kind of its own beast, and there were a lot of things I uh, became accustomed to when I moved out here. Country life and being introduced to guns, actually. 